No, you can't do that every video. I'm just, just I know it's awkward for you to start. It's not. I just like I, I I don't know when you're starting, so I just go and my mind wanders. Um, brilliant. See, that's why I was looking at stuff because you weren't ready. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing. Okay, you, I'll, I'll surprise you. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> What's going on, beautiful people? Today we're going to be making a really cool shallow tank for Shelleys. That's what we're doing. Nice. Uh, so recently we took a trip up to Cadbury Maidenhead Aquatics and the, one of the first tanks I saw there I thought was really different. Yeah. Um, I love Shelleys but I never like the height you get of a tank. Most of it's unused because they're all on the bottom. So we have got a tank from Superfish, I'll show you in a minute, and we thought this little area here would be perfect for it. So here is our tank, we'll get it all out in a minute, um, and here is the stand for it. So the first job is to build the stand, get the tank on the top, we can have a let, then have a look at what you get in the kit and explain what we're going to be doing. And there we go. Have to say, Matt, that was one of the easiest ones we've done. Ever. Maybe we're just getting better at it. Nah, it's because I, I was here. That's what it was. I don't know. We always do it together. We do. So I don't know. These sofas. You know, these sofas. Did we do these together? I started one. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the colour scheme doesn't quite go with everything else, but that's fine. We've shown examples of what you could possibly get. I don't so know. You... We've got like the white and the beige over there. To be fair, actually. Grey on grey. Yeah, it looks quite nice, I think. And then wood front, wood front. Yeah, it can work. Um, but yeah, there's a load of options of colours and that you could buy them all separate or together, I guess, as well, like separately to get... Oh, I just saw that. <laughs> Where are you going, little man? There's a spider that's just come down and it must have come down from wow. all the way up there as well. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, he wants to go over to the tanklet. Oh, yeah. He loves the new super fisher. Anyway, yeah, about the tank. <laughs> So you can obviously buy this tank completely separate as well. It's a shallow. It's called the Scaper 70 Aquarium. No idea why the design on the front is at all aquarium, but we'll ignore that. I think the picture's the same on every aquarium that they do. It's more like a, a brand, yeah. I guess. Yeah, we'll let them off. Um, 67 litres, so it's 60 centimetres by 40 centimetres by something. 28 centimetres. But you just disrupted the spider. Oh, sorry, spider. <laughs> Uh, let's open it up and we can have a look at the kit inside as well. Ping, ping, lick. Oh, where oh, does sorry. that spider go? Oh, sorry, spider. <laughs> I got him. Oh, there he is. Put him in with the archers. <laughs> oh, poor spider. <laughs> He's fine. Okay, so it comes with, if I can get it out. No, I can't. This is very hard one-handed. So it comes with one of the scaper lights. As many of you know, I use these all the time. They are so good. I mean, there's two on that one which we need to trim. <laughs> There's one on this tank here with my amazing Royal Acara and the Electric Blues and the Tetras. There's one on this one with the Angelfish. Again, growing plants like crazy. Um, we're not going to be using it for growing plants today, are we? Um, well, mate. A uh, few little ins. Yeah, a few little... What? No, not under the water. No, it would be above, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that's what we wanted to do, a little bit different to the one that we saw. The one we saw was just shells, rock, sand and fish. Are you going to be able to hold yourself back on that? Yes, because... A Bruce I... and Philander is going to creep in. I can already feel it coming. We might you're going to some... get the rock work might... and you're going to be like, oh, just... just we might put some boots in. Anubius. Ooh. We'll see, we'll see. Just some stem plants in the back. Oh, it's fully planted. Maybe sort of merging down from the, from the plants that are out of the water. Yeah. Because we want to do something a little bit different. We want to do what we saw because we absolutely loved it, but we also want to try and get something coming right out the top as well and had an idea of a ficus because it might give it that sort of tree, mini tree bonsai sort of vibe, might oh, it? Cool. And I know it can work because I've seen it done before. Yeah. So uh, I think I saw it the first time on, um, is it Cinescaper? Yes, Cinescaper. His channel, yeah. he's got a great channel, does great sort of, uh, it looks like films to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And I remember seeing him do that and I thought, oh, I didn't know you could do that with that tree and I've never actually tried it. So hopefully this works well. Uh, so yeah, the kit's got the light. We've got a hang on the back filter, which we'll probably put to the side because we haven't got any room. Plus it won't disrupt anything then yep. will it also got some backgrounds here so it's a white and a black if you want it so then there's some uh, fertilizers as well and liquid co2 so you've kind of got everything to get you started really and oh. a foam pad on the bottom oh and there's a foam pad on the bottom oh yes once we take it out yep. there's a foam pad you can see it it's black it's a foam pad you know what a foam pad is yeah right i'm excited let's uh, let's get going oh another thing that i think will be good to point out is how good the glass is you know you're getting Clear, low iron, I guess you call it, clear, opti, there's loads of different names for it, but let's call it clear glass, yeah? Yeah. 
clear <laughs> class. Clear class. <laughs> As opposed to... Most classes are clear, <laughs> aren't they? You would hope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get the filter fitted. We've got the light on, get the background, and then we can start putting some sand and rocks in. Winner. So usually at this stage would be when we'd add a load of nutrients at the bottom of the tank and then sort of cap it all over the top. But that is not what we're going to be doing in this instance because Shelley's dig. They completely dig everything up. They'll just landscape everything how they want it. So anything we do underneath would just pull up into the water column and it would be an absolute mess. It's another reason why you don't really see Shelley's in a fully carpeted planted tank. Although I'm sure you maybe could do it. Uh... That would be an interesting one. Yeah, you could probably half and half it. You could probably Give like, them an area. Yeah, have a couple of areas. But you, they, you can come in the shot if you want. I'll just play with the filter over there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they might work, but I think they'll dig it up eventually. We've got enough planted tanks, though, so we want to do our sort of idea that we've got. So, yeah, let's stick on this uh, background. Let's, I think the white might look quite cool behind it. I think it will go with the sort of... I think it'll be all white. It'll be all white, won't it? That's great. <laughs> yeah, so this is just... Uh, it's like a... It's not one of those ones that you squidgy on. It's just literally like a piece of paper. Um, but once you stick laminated it to the back... Paper, laminated, is that what? Yeah, laminated. Because so. yeah, otherwise so. it would go mushy, wouldn't That's it? That's right. Dampness. So it just sticks to the back with a bit of tape. And literally you can't tell, can you? No. It, it looks perfect. So we'll get that on and then we'll get some sand in. There we go, look. Look at that. Looks perfect, doesn't it? Sand to go in now. We just want a very basic sand, sort of finer, but not dusty grained. Yep. And they can sift it all around. I've got a bag actually, we can stick it in. Matthew has said bag. Okay, I should, I'm just gonna use all of it, yeah? I think we we'll definitely think so. need all of that. Yeah, it's only a little bag. We might need a little bit more as well, but we'll see how it goes, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, tipper. It's a good amount, it's a good amount. Now we want to put rocks in the background area, so oh. uh, we will need to put a bit. Oh, hello. A delivery. We've got visitors. What on earth is, oh, is it your jellyfish tank, Matt? So if you're not subscribed to Matt's channel, then uh, you should be, because he's got this jellyfish thingy that he's going to be doing. Yeah, exciting stuff. Never had jellyfish before. Link to Matt's channel in the description. And done. So sand is in. Uh, we've left a decent amount in the back there as like a good base for the uh, rocks to sit on. Now, we've got a choice of rocks, Matt, but I think the rocks we want to pick, I like the ones they picked with Sirius Stone. Yep. It works well, we've got a lot of it. We need to be able to build up a bank at the back. Okay, yes. And the reason for that is because we want to put in the ficus, don't we? Yeah. We want to put in a ficus. I've, I've seen it been done before. I don't know if it works long term, but that's yeah. what's the fun of it, isn't it? Just Yeah, I think, uh, you know, a lot of these plants do well, or, once they get their roots in water, they seem to do okay. So stuff you think wouldn't, and then you're like, oh, it's fine. I suppose at some point when the roots go through the soil though, they've got to hit a very, very wet patch of soil, in theory. You would have thought. So yeah, but anyway, we'll try it. We'll try it and see if it works. So yeah, we've got some cereal down here, big pieces, angular pieces. We need something with like a flat top as well to be able to put the ficus onto yeah, out of the water. Almost anchor it onto sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But on the water line, so that yeah. just the roots go in and yeah, it won't rot the... rot the bottom of the tree. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. It's going to be a bit experimental, but you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Maybe some roots coming down as well using some of these just to sort of blend it in a little bit more, plus give it more of a base to sit on. Yeah. But it, at this point, it's just a case of getting these rocks in and seeing what we can come up with. Okay, so I want to start off in this corner because this is where the uh, ficus is, you know, gonna sit mainly. See what we can do. I need to be careful that it doesn't fall over. You got a big one, Matt? I got a taller one. Okay, Do you cool. reckon he needs to go behind? Yeah, in sort of, front? No, he's behind. like just behind, I reckon. Like, there's a little gap. I need more of a gap. Bring it down. More of an angle. Like that? Yeah, why not? Let me secure this one with something in front of it. I've got it. Two people really does help. It does, so you don't smash your tank. That works. I reckon that needs more angle. And then we need something to go, yeah, that one in front, just to sort of lock everything in place. Yeah. Because here's the thing, this sand isn't completely dry, so when we try and fill this up with water, it will shift around a little bit. Yeah. We've basically pushed it down almost to the glass, so it should be all right. Yeah, to be fair, I've seen that happen before where you fill it up and it all settles yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we create tension. They call it tension, don't they, Matt? Uh, yeah. In the, in the, we never 
really sort of think about this stuff, do we? We just do it. But in if this it looks one, pretty. everything's going one way. Uh, the other side might be nice to go the opposite way. Yeah, I think so. So this one. I reckon in there. Yeah, straight away that looks good. If we can keep that angle like it's that. He sit up, doesn't he? Yeah. Do you need something else? I think so, a little one underneath it. Okay. I've got a little one here. Not little, little, but... Oh, hang on. Is he good? That one can lock it in if you want. I like it a lot. Yeah, I don't, it's actually locked in on those two. And then it's just a case of uh, bringing it out a little bit more. Not too much. We want lots of sort of room for the Shelleys as well. But these are only small Shelleys we're putting in, isn't there? Yeah, dinky Aren't little they? ones. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so they don't need like a huge amount. But the good thing about not gluing any of this is that at any point, you, it's so easy just to whip one out, put a bit more sand in. So we can adjust as needed, um, you know, as, as the tank evolves. You yeah, know? if they need more space or more shells or whatever, we can mess around more with More sand, yeah, it's an easy fix. It's not like a planted tank, is it, where you've got to disturb everything oh, and yeah. mess everywhere. It's so simple to, to change around. So a good point to note, actually, now that we've done our rock work, we've just sort of thrown it together, which is what we always do and looks great. Yep. This light is very powerful actually, and we've, uh, Superfish also sell these little inline, is it? Yeah, so like inline, inline dimmers slash timers. So what percent are we on, Matt? I have no idea, because I remember setting it up. 40, 40. there we We're go. We're at 40%, stick it on 100 just to show them. Uh, that's going down. That's 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 30 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. <laughs> 100. Whoa, I mean the camera is like, hang on, let me adjust to what I'm seeing. That's about what I'm seeing and that is a 100% an algae fest. Yeah. Very powerful lights these from Superfish, which is why they're so good value for money and it's also why they grow plants just so well. So back to 40, pretty sure at that level, we're not gonna get very much algae at all, but we can still adjust even from there. So they're gonna move all of this sand just wherever they want and that's absolutely fine, it'll be interesting to see. You know, in the shop, they had uh, brought it all forward, so you've got all these sort of curvy mounds, that yeah. looks good. Some bits were at the back, some bits were down low. And it will we'll break see. up the line of sight as well. You can have a little patch of shells here, 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 and here. Oh, and shells. Then... Yeah. Did I remember to bring them? Hang on. Did I remember to bring them? I'm pretty you sure. You definitely forgot them. Well, they're here. Okay, I have a selection. Oh, nice. What have we got? Okay, so I didn't know what size, you know when you oh, order wow. something online? Yeah, and they're like, the sizes are a <laughs> bit like, mm, is it gonna be okay? So I've got these little dinners. Oh yeah, they're cool. Like, even if it's just for a bit of decoration. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the babies will hide in get, it. Sorry, it's, the, way, the babies will hide in them. Yeah, and it's not likely you're gonna get one size, like, in the no, world. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. So we've got those, sort of like a medium. Oh yeah, chunky ones. And then I think these are beast ones. Oh, beast ones. Not Mr. Beast. You've got to be excited now. Yeah, if I got say a big... Mr. Beast in the video, does that mean it goes in his algorithm? <laughs> Hopefully. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Uh, Beast. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wow. They look cool, though. Yeah, they're going to be wicked. Okay, okay cool. cool. All of them. Well, so we got, we, they got options. Yeah, nice. There might be some bigger ones that want to, yeah. Cool. Perfect. Do we put them in now or do we do it up? Let's fit it up. Yeah. You've got to get the air out to see. You've got to get the air yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. So with the ficus sitting in this area, we think it's going to sit. So there's like a, a whole section behind. So all of the fish as well, they can go in and out of all of this lot, and I'm sure they will utilise it. But for it to just sit up there, it might be a little bit of a balancing act. So it's almost like we need to make something like a, a plinth for it. Um, now, the wood itself is going to be coming in the water, so why not bring it down with a little bit more... Uh, detail like rooting that can follow some of the lines but that'll also add a little structure at the back here as well for it to sit on Matt's come up with this one yeah that can work so or we should we go thinner I think we could go thinner that's not going to sit very well I mean we don't really have to see it you can sort of just stick yeah, it stick in it behind gap. it's just so that it doesn't fall in so you've got to be a little bit clever aren't you you got <laughs> well yeah it's quite chunky that, but that's a big old piece, but that, ah, oh, it's a little bit, we can cut it down if we need to. It just needs a little bit off the bottom, mm. and I think that'll work nicely, actually. We might want to get the ficus quite soon. Uh, why? Because we don't know what size it's going to be <laughs> no, yet. that's true. So we might put all this together, and then we end up coming back with, like, a tree. We wouldn't, but... No, we won't. It no, would be won't. quite funny. 
but yeah, okay. Right, let's just cut off a little bit off the bottom of that, put it in, then we'll go fill it up and go get the ficus. Yeah. Am I saying that right? I have no idea. I'm not even too sure we're talking about the right tree, to be honest, <laughs> but it's going to be a tree that we find and see if it will grow in there. Exactly. Yeah. It'll be fine. Cool. Right, there we go. We've added in the uh, with sword, sawn? S sword. Sword. No, sawn. I don't know. We, we've cut the wood. <laughs> so it's got a nice flat top area there. So that should work well. But um, we just want to put a little bit of scatter gravel just for a little bit more detail around the rocks. It might get mixed in, but it's still, it just makes it look a le little bit more realistic rather than just a pure, clean sort of beach sand, I think. Yeah, it will just give a definition, won't it? Yeah, we did it over on the uh, Mabuna cichlid tank, and you can see, look, just, whoa, what, calm down, guys, calm down. That's and like a see, predator coming at them yeah, with that is. big eyeball, though, isn't That's it? That's true, yeah, they're like, gone. <laughs> And then they're like, no, he feeds us, and they slowly come back out again. Um, but yeah, just an odd little bit, you see, just poking through, just adds a little bit more realism to the sand rather than just being completely pure and white. Yeah, I don't think we need a lot. No. Just uh, these little green. Oh, that on one's the on the floor. We didn't want that one. Just a little bit dotted around. Like I said, they're going to move it anywhere. It's just to make it look less. Now it looks like, like a proper beach. You wait till we add the shells. Right, yeah. <laughs> I just don't want it to look like the Bahamas. Why not? It's quite a nice place. Well, it is, what? but I don't think they live there. No. Unless they go on holiday. No, just stop. <laughs> and lovely. Look at that. Right, let's fill it up. There we go. We're filled up. Ooh. It's a little bit misty. Matt is about to start the uh, filter. Well, it helps if you fill the filter up as well. Oh, yeah. You've got to prime the filter by have filling I... it with water. I think I might have turned the pump off. Oh, you did. Wow, that's a rookie error, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we fill the back chamber of the uh, filter, and then when you turn it on, it's got actually water in the impeller to, to work against and pulls it all through. But I just wanted to show you guys quickly. So if you look there inside the cartridge, there's a white sort of filter floss. Now what that means is it does polish water really, really well. And I've always found that these filters are very good at getting the water clear. So Ready? yeah, switch it on, yeah. There we go, look, you can see it all coming up there. Works nice and simply. One good thing I found about these as well is that if there's a power cut and it stops working, it does drain a little bit in this section because there's you know, no impeller going, but when the power comes back on again, it all works fine. Something important to remember, because I've bought cheap ones before where that didn't happen. Yeah, they and get they just like sat an there for lock, hours, yeah, just yeah. burning the motor out. So yeah. yeah, you don't have to worry about that with these as, as, at all. And also the, um, the cartridges, you can take them out and clean them, or you can take them out and buy new ones. But uh, I like the fact you can just blast them with a, a, a jet or a hose pipe and then they're all completely clean again. So yeah, it's, it works really <laughs> well, to be honest. Yeah, just sucking all that stuff in. There we go, we've got the surface skimmer on the top working really well as well. Nice, give it an hour, this will be clear and we'll have our ficus hopefully. Let's go get it. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of a uh, car filming, car video. Yeah, I'm just cruising along gently. Everyone's going past me, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we're going to Ikea now. Everyone loves a good Ikea trip. We are going for, no? Wow. Depends, depends. We know what we want, so in, out, done. Yes, if, if you're going as a family. Yeah, it's a meander for three hours. It's a lot of time, yeah. 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 We might be able to get some lunch as well. Yep, we'll lunch, we yeah. We're going for ficus, we're probably gonna get more. Yeah. A, like a giant piece lily or something Yeah, like well, we've got to kill a few more, haven't we? So, <laughs> we need something else. No, we can get more clips. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. that's a good shout. That yeah. is a good shout. Yeah, we'll have a look around. There might be some other stuff. A couple of cacti, nice. Maybe we can look for an option for a trellis as well, so that we oh, can throw the, uh, yeah. like, all the monster and stuff mm. up the back of some of the tanks. Yeah, you can tie it onto it then. See what they got. Yeah, all right. That sounds a good idea, actually. Oh, I nearly fell over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> yeah. We have arrived at the plant section. These are all fake. Uh, anyway. What's that? Fake. I mean, they could work. That, you wouldn't know, would you? Because air plants in general look fake anyway, yeah. don't they? So, yeah, all the real plants are over in that section. Okay, this could work, Matt. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's an absolutely massive plant that won't work. Ah, they got, oh, down here, Matt. Literally here. Oh, yeah. I can see that working. It looks cute as well. It looks like a little sort of bonsai. Just this coming out the top with the 
we could like expand the routing into the rock. I think this is the one. Yeah, I think that'll look cool. This oh, oh no, yeah, because we don't need the pot as well. I think it comes with the pot though. Does it come with the pot? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right, that'll work as well. Maybe just put the pot on. Done. Now you got to act like you're walking in. <sighs> come in here and pretend you're walking in because that's what we do. Ready, action. We have the plant. It's not quite the one we wanted, is it? What are you doing? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, right, let's explain. Next to our Burger King drink. So we wanted apparently ficus. Yes. I did. I thought this was. Which I think is that. <laughs> the one that's alive and in the that, corner. That can't go in Oh, we time. have got a nice one there, look. We could have just used that one. He blended in with the trellis. Okay. But, oh, well. But anyway. We got the, yeah, we got this. <laughs> which uh, is a Rada Machara. A ra, Rada, Rada Machara. So I tell you why I wanted this one? I like all this bit. Yeah. Quite like that. And it says it needs moist soil. Well, we could, it's going to be really moist. We could do that. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Mind you, there'll be no soil. Yeah. yeah, it says it doesn't like the soil too wet because it rots the roots. But without the soil, there's no rotting. Yeah. If worst comes to worst, we can just put that... And just float and just it. just sort of Hang sit on, it on the top. Move. That's going to fall in. That's as good as. Yeah, done. <laughs> no, that's not quite the same effect. No. no. All right, let's just wash off all that soil and see what rootage we're left with. So ideally you'd do this outside, but it's hammering it down. So I'm just going to break off a load of the soil first. I'm going to try and keep as much rootage in place as I can initially. Give him the old shake. The, the old, the old shake. shake. Blast it off, Matt. That's looking pretty good. Watch faces. <laughs> okay, that's a good amount there. We're getting there. There's the main root sisting on. Go for that, I'll go last. This is definitely an outside job. No. no it's not going at you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I am so keen. <laughs> we do the rest of the tap. Oh my God, there's a nugget. <laughs> there you go. Grab that set. That's what I, said. I don't want it. Ugh. It's wet. <laughs> so those are the roots, the good roots. Some up there as well. But that's like, we can't, I don't think we can put the wood bit in the water. This bit? No. No, I, I think don't want to risk it. There. It's got to be that. So, yeah, of course, this is all experimental. So we do need to bring that up higher, but also we need to bring the water level lower, Matt. There's no need for it to be up that high, to be honest. I mean, it looks cool. It does look good, doesn't it? I mean, you can't really tell with everything behind it, but that's, that's fine. We know, you know? <laughs> Maybe we should have got three of those. Yeah. To be fair, they were 14 pound each. Were they? Yeah, <laughs> cheap. Anyway, uh, let's bring the water level down for a start. Okay, we dropped the water level slightly and Matt just managed to hook it sort of in this little gap, which is locking it in place, which means, as you can see, only the roots are in the water. So we've given it the best chance, well, a chance. <laughs> a chance. <laughs> we've given it a chance, it's all experimental, yeah, so. I think it'll be cool. If it works, it's gonna be cool. Does it need more? More tree? Uh, yeah. Like in this gap. Yeah, you could do with another one here. Right, back in the... No. <laughs> right, we like that, we really do. It's just, it's a little bit lost. Um, but, we've got a solution. Like, look how good that looks. Peace Lily, gone nuts. We're gonna get some smaller ones and place them, so in that, that sort of area there coming up top and a bit to the side and just filling out that back area a little bit. I just think it'll look much better, you know, and it'll keep it looking less, sort of just like this little lonely <laughs> I think if you had it in the middle with nothing around it. Or behind it. I think that would look okay. Yeah. I, I think it just gets lost in amongst the monumentalness of other tanks. And this tank will stay even clean with even more plants, especially oh, yeah. PCLE, so I say go for it. Yeah. So because you know why, there's more is more. More is more. <laughs> Let's plant up the bottom. Yeah. We're not doing Shelleys anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> fully plant it out. <laughs> it's gonna have a piss of grammar in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're at the local garden centre. Now, I did come here previously. Uh, whoa. It's a bit big. It's not a bit big, it's awesome. Yeah, but that's a bit much, yeah. is it not? We can choose the littler ones though, but yeah, we did come here first for the ficus. I don't think we weren't supporting like local places, but they didn't have anything we actually wanted. So we went to Ikea as well. I know it's not pronounced Ikea, okay? Yeah, they're all massive, but we know Peace Lily can just go in. A baby one! Is that too small? I oh, mind you, that one's like, this one's a good size. Yeah, I think that might be a better... Well, yeah, no, probably. Yeah, you might not even see it once it's in the water. That's the thing. Yeah. 
It's a good size. I say I get one big one and one of the small ones. Dunk. <laughs> Just plonk that in the middle of the tank. Yeah, that's finished, it? Like it. We have the plants. Now, they are gonna essentially drown this one out, but we don't know if this works. That's an experiment. I know no matter what, these work. And we might trim some of these bigger ones back a bit because that is monstrous, isn't it? Well, it is a bit big. But the little one can go like over there next to it. And the big one can go in the gap in the middle and just fill out that section. You might section. be able to move that one over, to be fair. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, because he Give just- Give it a bit more space. He locks onto that wood, so I might be able to, I'll have a play. Okay, uh, we need to clean all the um, roots off in exactly the same way as that one, and then we can just put them in. That's all of the roots cleaned off, as you can see here. Now, you've got options. If you don't like how many roots you've got there, you can trim them off, but be aware if you do that, if you trim it down to like there, they will sag in the first sort of few days. Whereas I found if you keep all the roots, there's enough water going into the plant and it just, yeah, it seems to stay nice and firm and looking good from day one. But if they do start to droop a little bit, don't worry about it, they will bounce back. It's tremendous, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good pun. Right, then, <laughs> let's get them in. <laughs> okay, I've got the I smaller just, ones on this side, Matt. I just want to put it here. Just right in the middle. <laughs> this is a massive. This is a massive. This is a massive. And the good thing about the peace lily is you can put the actual stalky bit underwater as well. It will not rot. It will do very well that way. Oh, it's not big enough. It's not big enough? No, not there in the gap. I was just seeing because this would uh, lock it in. Oh, you mean, oh, you're opening it. Do you want me to open for you? Maybe. I know it's right over, but that will No, I mean, come in. in the middle, look, and I'll oh, pin do, it. Do you reckon I can get in there? Yeah, get it in and I'll just lay it on it. We can split that if we need to. Try that. There we go, look, we've, we've kind of misted the whole thing up again. But it's like, a, it's like the edge of something, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> the edge of something. Like a... It is the edge of something. <laughs> yeah, like a riverbank style sort of thing. Definitely given that vibe, I do like it. I like the, the mix as well of the brown of the uh, ficus, it's not a ficus, but you know what I mean. And then the green of the peace lily, then you've got the flowers on top as well. And this is a perfect area as well, Matt, for sunlight, yeah. not the panel light, the sunlight coming in. So as you can see, it works really well on these, these ones and the yeah, flowers just keep coming flowers. back. Wow. So yeah, I'm happy with that because, you know, if, the, if this one doesn't work, we've still got the piece of leaves in place. We can have a little trim up of some of the leaves and that are blocking light and going a bit low. But also we added a few more rocks down the bottom there to lock it all in, which means we've, run, we've got less space in the sand now. So I think we're gonna have to remove a couple of these rocks just to make sure there's enough for the, for the shellies. Which one should we get rid of, Matt? I'm trying to think. Or maybe it is just this middle area. Yeah, I reckon... Or maybe almost, that one. I reckon get rid of... Is this one supporting anything? <laughs> yes. Yes, that yes. one, Don't that move one that definitely one. is. Which means they might dig it and it might... Oh, yeah. <laughs> move that, just take it out and see what happens. It, it really it, is supporting it, it, isn't it? It literally has fallen down. Okay, so lift it up. I'll bury it so it's not in the sand, it's on the glass it won't matter then if they there we go that's on the glass now so it won't matter if they dig the sand around it and that's locked down locked down this one yeah i think it's going to have to be that one isn't it maybe bring these a little bit more central then to, so they've got two territories yeah yeah and then that one can come across that yeah yeah because then we've got the shells as well yeah right so that's like looking good it's all misty but uh, anyway we're going to add in the shells now because they are going to look wicked should we do big ones first? Yeah. So the shell's obviously going to hold air. <laughs> Perfect. Love that. Yep. I do. No, not all of them. One more. Really? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Perfect. Oh, oh, look at that shell dwelling tank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need four of these, Matt. They're massive. Just a couple. What's no? I reckon one in each section. Yeah, I want to be able to see a little bit of that. Well, they'll do what they want with it, really. Yeah, <laughs> so we're like. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, all the little ones. Five of them. And all of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, these are going to be annoying. Oh, there we go. You really have got to try and... You've got to, like, twist them so that the air, like, spirals out of them. And then it's just the little ones. These are going to be annoying. Oh. Oh, some of them, yeah. I've That's... just landed them all in that big shell. Yeah, we can't do that. Scatter shells. I like Scatter that. shells, yeah. More. Go for it, Matt. I've not seen it, have you? Where there's like all the varying sort of sizes. Yeah, it's quite nice. It'll be different. More again, or just, is that enough? Uh, 
I quite like those little ones. Yeah. No, nah, that's enough. That's yeah, enough. I think that's enough. Gets silly for us, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we've got enough homes there. Like the two, the medium and the large are big enough, aren't they, yeah. for dwelling? The other ones are more decoration. Maybe some babies will go in there. But... Yeah, yeah, you'll find babies will go in and hide in there. So yeah, it'll be fine. So do the males and females stay together in a home? Uh, no, female. Which way around is it? I can't remember. One will stay in the shell to protect it. So we've technically got three. I've no, got... four. I've got a feeling the male will have several females in one area. So there'd be like two or three females in there with one male, um, if memory serves. Okay, so we can get about five groups? Uh, yeah, probably. Let's have a look, see yeah, how big see. they are yes, when yeah, we get yeah, them. Size-wise, okay, yeah. cool. If they're juveniles, we'll probably get a few more, but yeah, if they're adults, we might have to go get a few less. Uh, by the time we come in the morning, this should be clear. Okay, it's so the next day. We're crystal clear, looking good. All the plants standing upright and the experimental Roman non -ficus Romandra. Ficus. I should have looked up that name before we started this. Don't worry about it. It's, it's a plant. Then yeah. it's not dying. It's not drooping. Everything looks solid and good. I mean, all the all these all the peace lilies as well. Absolutely brilliant. Like I say, we kept all the roots attached, so I wouldn't expect any less. Water is still crystal clear. Again, there's no there's nothing in it that causes it go murky. Really, is there? So, well, if we had left a bit of compost on, it could have gone bad. That's true. But, but overall, perfect. We're ready. We can go get some fish. Now this will be interesting. We're going to go back to your old shop. Yeah. And this will be the first time we've been back there since you were here. Yeah. So I've been back. Hopefully you're welcome. No, I've, you, you've I've been, been back. back several times. <laughs> I'm joking, but I haven't with you because no, you've bought you're stuff. You're going to have to wait. Stay at the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go. We're back in the shop. This is my first time being back here for a very long time, but yeah, not it's a yours. couple of months, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I just want to show you guys the eight foot. How good is that looking? And look at the size of these tetra now. Hopefully they can see, but look, they're massive. They are the Congo huge. one, look at that Congo one. So nice. The lights have been switched around, you see. There was like the Kessels, was it Kessels? I think it was Kessels, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it a couple of Kessels? Yeah. Oh, and a photon, oh, and a photon. Yeah, that in the middle. in the middle, yeah. But now it's got the super fish lights, which you know we all use. We've got, we've got two of them going all the way across. It's just lit everything up so much better. The fish look better as well. It's not spotlights, isn't it? That's the thing. It's spotlights. It does, you get dark patches, you whereas do. that is a full on bright, yeah. You don't get as much shimmer. There's no. a little bit, but I think overall lighting is better. Yeah. In terms of being able to see. Look at this Val. She's here. Yeah, anyway, that's not why we're here. Do you, you know why we're here? Do you, you know, know where I'm going? That feels like, oh, that feels old. Yeah. That feels weird. <laughs> Look, cool. but you're in your civilian clothing. <laughs> it's like a superhero. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, he's at work. Man at work. Does this feel weird? No. No, <laughs> it's all ingrained. So look, we've got some, these are the shell dwellers, aren't they, Matt? They are. Looking good. We've got different sizes. Um, these are? Multifasciatus. That's compressed. Not steps. those, yep. they are those. <laughs> So multifasciatus, shit, multi. So these are multis. Yeah, multis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah. Uh, it looks like we've got a variety of sizes there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just saw one go straight into a shell there. Um, yeah, there's a couple in this shell, and yeah, that's cool. Those are oh, the yeah, same look. shells, I think, as what we've got. Actually. Yeah, they might be. Look at that little didder as yeah. well. Okay, yeah. So we get, uh, obviously you can pick, but uh, we need we need a, a range, don't we? A, yeah, a range of sizes. Can you tell the male and the females? Uh, some of the bigger ones you'll be able to. Yeah. Yeah, just about, I reckon. Well, it would be a good guess, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to yeah. do it. I mean, there's that much living happily in that space, yeah. which means they're gonna, we're going to have less than that in a bigger space, yep. so they'll be absolutely fine, won't they? Oh, yeah, easy, easy. OK, well, bag them up. <laughs> and whilst we're here, we're picking up some new mealworms for the puffers and for the archer fish, because they've been enjoying them as well, haven't they? They've been smashing them. Yes. I think we should just try them with, this, uh, with the Mabuna. Yeah, why not? <laughs> They'll eat them. Yeah. We are back from the fish shop. You can see the uh, fish are already acclimating. They have been for a while now. They're actually ready. We can put them in, can't we, Matt? Yeah, they should be absolutely fine now. Okay, awesome. Are you ready? We are ready. Oh, jumpy, jumpy. Um, you guys might be thinking, where was the heater? Most of you do know that we heat the room, but some of you new viewers not, might not know that. Are you ready? Uh, the room is heated, so everything's the right temperature. And in they go. We've got a nice little group here. Matt went for all the different sizes, slightly different colorations as well. Look at that. Yeah, there's definitely a few males and females in there. Yes, that means they're going to get some breeding for sure, won't we? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, they're staying quite still. Yeah. Um, that's to be expected. I'm going to leave them for a second. 
Now obviously this is a completely fresh setup, so we're gonna add in beneficial bacteria. I always wait until the fish had gone in because now there's a food source from the, uh, the waste of the fish for the bacteria to sort of grow and multiply. I often find that if you do this beforehand and there's no fish for like a few days, it seems to be that the, the, the cloud, the oh, it's just gone into the shell. A tiny one, there's a massive one there. Yeah, I find that you get a cloudiness, but obviously I think that's some die off or something like that. But yeah, I always do it at the same time as the fish. What I'll do tomorrow when we come in is test the water, make sure there's no ammonia or anything like that. Uh, probably do a little water change anyway, just to be sure, but it should be absolutely fine. Especially with the plant roots pulling out everything that's gonna be in that water as well. Yeah, look at this one here, look. Not that one on the front, but look, it's just laid down in the hole. It's not stuck. Uh, there's also one inside that shell, another little one hiding beside it. And there's also one down in that little gap behind the shell here as well. So they're already finding their own little areas, which is perfect. So this isn't the sort of tank where I you're going to- I thought we were doing a thumbnail. Oh, this, <laughs> this will probably be the thumbnail. I was, I was doing all the- <laughs> Um, yeah, because you're a YouTuber as That's well. Matt's a YouTuber as well, so he, he knows how it works. But <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to be the sort of tank where like everything's going to be changing regularly. This is more about like just enjoying the fish and seeing them breeding and that sort of thing. I don't know. The sand levels will change fairly. Often. Yeah, well, they're, they're landscape, <laughs> won't they? Yeah, they will. But like you know, I'm used to this plant's growing. This plant isn't. You know what to do. It's not really about that. I mean, the top's going to grow like crazy. But it's more about just coming and going. Hello, guys. What's going on today? Sort of thing. Not a lot at the moment, but you know, it's early days. Literally been in five minutes. So we'll give them a a little bit of time. So it's the next day, as you can see, the fish are a lot more comfortable, out and about a bit more. And they seem to have all taken up residence as well now, Matt. Yeah, they seem to all have a shell, which is quite cool. All the big ones have taken up residence in the big shells and then the little ones are in amongst the little ones and the rocks. Oh, look, look, just inside that shell there, you can just see. And then there's one over here as well in this one. I mean, it doesn't help with come right up to the tank, but uh, I'll overlay some nice footage as well of them not being petrified by our giant lens. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a massive fish eye, yeah. I can see that'd be scary. Well, I'm really happy with this. Successful, a successful one. Yeah, it looks great. So if someone's not got a fish tank and watching the channel, this is definitely something they can have a go at, isn't it? Oh, it's so simple. It's the yeah, easiest way of doing it. You get the enjoyment of watching the fish behavior. You'll definitely get fish breeding. You've got plants that can't die. <laughs> <laughs> like even un like for someone new, even plants underwater can be very difficult to start with. Oh yeah. But if you go get a piece of lily like this, stick it in some water, it will it will do well. <laughs> in terms of rocks, I mean, there's quite a few there for say if you're doing like a budget budget setup. Um, you, you don't need that many, but I had them available, so that's what we've done. You could swap it out for slate though, quite easily, couldn't you? Big pieces of slate or big pieces of pebble, which are going to be far cheaper. Yeah, just whatever you can afford, whatever you can gather, you just use it. And here we go, look, now, now that we've been here for a while, fish are getting a little bit more comfortable. They were in the rocks at the back, weren't they? Yeah, they were. They've come out of the sort of all the different creases and cracks in the rocks, which is cool. So I guess what you'll find is the more dominant will take up the best homes. Yep. And the rest just have to go wherever they can. Absolutely, yeah. I'm loving this one right in the middle here, just... That's quite a beautiful shot there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That could be the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, give it a go, guys. Enjoyable, simple, and uh, something you can all, you can all do.